someone asked the question, as you can see, and I'm going to mention five things I did to get to this length in four years. My hair was four years yesterday. Your hair grows every time, but the problem you're having is retaining length. I see that whenever you make your hair and then after three weeks, two weeks, you start seeing new growth and then you have to go retouch the hair or then you start seeing your hair is getting rough and then wherever they made the hair from starts lifting from the root. That's because your hair grows every time. But the issue you're having is retaining length. And so I'm going to mention five things that helped me retain my length. So the first thing you should know is your hair porosity. Your hair porosity is the ability for your hair to retain moisture. We have three categories of the hair porosity. We have the low, we have the medium, and we have the high porosity. The low porosity, it is hard for moisture to go into the hair cuticles because it is closed, but it is very easy for it to retain it. It hardly goes out. The medium is just there. The high porosity, it is very easy for moisture to go in, and it is very easy for moisture to go out. Makes it very, very delicate. You have to figure out where your hair falls under out of these three categories. If you want a better video where I explain properly about hair porosity, you can leave a comment down below. So your hair porosity is what is going to help you to determine the right product that can suit your kind of hair. The next thing I'm going to talk about is a routine. Now, when it comes to routine, it has to do with when and how you're going to apply your products, when you should do that, and how consistently you should do it. So your hair routine, personally, I'm going to explain my, I prepare my hair before I shampoo my hair. Before I shampoo my hair, I deep condition my hair. I make use of the LOC meter, which is leave-in conditioner or liquid, oil, and then cream. That is my own hair routine. And then I don't wash my hair more than twice in a month. So nothing less than once in a month, but not more than twice in a month. Then every week, I make sure I moisturize my hair. Nothing less than twice in a week. And then I make sure I hydrate my hair almost every day. So this is my hair routine. And this is what has worked for me for the past four years to get to this length. Put a routine that suits your schedule and what fits your hair and just know what your hair likes and what works for it. The third thing I'm going to be listening is less manipulation. I say this every single time. The thing you do not want to do is always disturb your hair, always fondle with your hair. You're always touching your hair, always detangle, always combing, always making your hair. All those things make your hair strand become very weak and so it is very prone to breakage because your strands are weak from too much fondling. So what you want to avoid is touching your hair too much. I having to comb your hair every day. You need to avoid that. Next thing I'm going to talk about again is the way you detangle your hair. Detangling your hair, it is very important. That is one issue a lot of people have when it comes to length retention. Your problem might be that you do not know how to comb or brush your hair properly. Personally, the first thing I do is to detangle my hair and I detangle my hair when it is wet. I finger detangle first. That is, I use my finger to make sure I lose all those knots. Your hair is coily and so there will be knots. So that's the first thing I do to make sure I use my finger to detangle the knots. And after doing that, I can then go in with a brush. And whenever I use my brush, I brush from the tip to the root. Do not come from do not brush from the middle or do not come from the middle and whenever i comb my hair i make use of a latch to comb something like this you want to avoid using any um comb that the bristles are very close to each other because your hair is really full coily and it can break so whenever i go to the salon make sure you avoid anything to comb avoid it except probably just to do edges last thing i'm going to say the fifth one is the use of herbs i make use of herbs like crazy Herbs is one thing that has really helped me. Onion, ginger, garlic, cinnamon, clove, rosemary, fennel, fenugreek, just name it. It goes on and on and on. Those herbs really helped in growing my hair to where it is today. So I don't know if those points were really helpful to you. If they were helpful, please follow and like this video. Leave a comment if you want me to explain better on any point I mentioned. So have a good day. Bye.